but we have um, um, a very homogeneous infrastructure. And endemic technology is much more like, okay, technology is there to answer local needs, it's, it's here to answer um, more from a bottom-up bottom -up approach. From these uh, values of society, we have on one side merit meritocratic society. So this is based on competition. Everybody um, does what he's good at. Um, and this is how um, it brings success in this society. Um, however, on the more human-centric one, um, what is the most valued um, skills is about civic and um, civic engagement. And this system can work only if all the members participate. So you see um, all these different patterns. I don't want to go too much into detail. This is all online. You can read a lot about it. But I want to show you that in each of these um, of these scenarios, uh, collaborative solutions are very well um, incorporated. And what is also very exciting about collaborative economy today, from our point of view, uh, where we come from, um, from the background of sustainability um, and environmental protection, um, we see here two strands. Uh, these are kind of cliche of um, what is happening in the debate. We have from one side somebody saying, okay, we help the environment by consuming less. This is a sufficiency movement. And we have the other one who say, we help the environment by consuming a lot of environmentally friendly pro products. So we see collaborative economy as a great potential to uh, offer some solution in the middle um, of, these two, um, of these two extreme positions. And that brings um, many, many potential. Well, I've talked a lot about Europe, actually, um, and um, problems that we have in industrial countries and how we try to decrease uh, our material footprint. But I want to introduce to someone that my colleagues met not a long time ago um, in the Philippines. Um, he's called Olan. And as you can see, he needs actually less than one planet. Well, we would say, okay, good job. Um, but he has other needs. He, has other, um, he doesn't have access to all the services uh, that he would like to. So a little bit of his story, he's a fisherman, but he has to um, leave his city, uh, his, uh, his village, sorry, to move to the city um, to find another job. Um, he has quite a vegetarian um, lifestyle, um, sorry, diet. Um, and he has only a tempor temporary shelter uh, at the moment. So he needs a lot of more stability um, about his housing solutions and as well for his children um, living in the village to access education and so on. And in the workshops my colleagues did there, um, participants came up also with a lot of collaborative, um, um, collaborative solutions to help these kind of people also to enhance their access to services that they don't have. So we can take, uh, we can use this collaborative economy from all the point of view, and um, we are currently actually looking for um, um, to see in other parts of the world what would be the potential of this collaborative economy, not only um, not only here in industrial countries. So we saw, okay, what can do collaborative consumption, collaborative economy do for Marit, Oriol, and Olens? It can change a lot in their lifestyles. We agree they can swap a lot of their assets, they can share their time, their money, and their assets, all the examples and all the modalities that we have been witnessing today and yesterday. Um, but what about the company? Um, the company where they're working um, and their daily work? Uh, I think collaborative uh, thinking can be also taken up um, in the business um, uh, and along, along the whole value chains of the production. Remember uh, what is behind lifestyle. We, we mentioned products, services, infrastructure, um, innovation, and so on. Um, well, to finish with, um, all this discussion, what we've been, um, what I've been introducing you right now, um, we could continue to discuss on two platforms that we have been launching um, not a long time ago, uh, Vision 2050. If you, it's a platform, it's open in the whole world. Um, we are organizing a lot of work studios in different parts of the world. Uh, in Ghana, um, in we were in Philippines, as I just told you. Uh, we're going soon to, to Accra, so we're going in very different kind of, um, um, of regions and want to discuss this uh, with a lot of different stakeholders. We bring together citizens, um, people from consumer associations, from deci decision makers from government, and we address them as individuals. 
we want to take them by their emotions um, and how they can envision that 2050 to move up to find solutions um, how to scale up all the promising pr practices. So all of you, all the inter entrepreneurs here, um, present here, we're trying to find out and to uh, discuss um, online um, all the different possibilities how to scale up to a next level. Um, we are very well, we're, um, very looking forward to that. Um, and thank you very much for your attention.